I'm Renan Erickson, a platform evangelist with Adobe. Welcome to the Flex 3 to Flex 4 migration series. In this video, I'm going to be presenting a migration tip on using skins for an icon button. Flex 4 introduces a new skinning model that provides you as a devel developer to build your components with great flexibility to change the look and feel of your, your component with actually without changing the core logic of your component. Let's go ahead and take a look at what I'm talking about. In this project called Using Skins for an Icon Button in Flash Builder 4, which I use to migrate my Flex3 to Flex4 applications, I have an application that has two buttons in it, a spark button and a toggle button. And what I want to do here is run it, and by default, the buttons just draw a box and actually have text in there if I actually had labels on there. But I don't want these to be the default skin of just a box and a border. When you roll over, it changes the highlight. I want to have different icons for the different up, over, and down states. So how we do this in Flex4 is to actually use the skinning model. And the first thing I'm going to do is I want to be able to use styles. So I want to be able to define all my different styles inside of the style sheet. The up scan, the over scan, the down scan, and embed these images for my button. But if I just define these and apply it, these two buttons will not apply. They're still just drawing the old rectangles. And this is because we need to do something with a skin. We need to make a new skin class that actually is applicable. So if I just show you what a default button skin looks like. If I create a new create skin, I can do a test one. I can have it create a copy of button skin. Let's go ahead and create this. You'll see what I talk about down at the bottom. We have a rectangle for the highlight, the low light, the fill. This is what's drawing that box and what it looks like. There's also a border and other stuff. And then down at the bottom, you'll see the label that is typical. So in our skin, we basically want to rip all this out and do logic for the images. I'm going to go ahead and add in this skin already made, and then we'll talk through it. So now when we jump into the icon button skin, what we have here is a spark skin, and we're going to use the host component as button base, because we're trying to apply this skin against button and toggle button, which both of them extend off of button base. And the host component, component is important when you want to access the actual component that the skin is applied to and interact with any of the properties there. So I got a, two classes that extend the same lower level class, and I can use that as my host component. And then what we next thing I need to do is this host components have states. And our button states are those things that we want to change with different images. So up, over, down, disabled. And then the added ones for toggle button is up and selected, over and selected, down and selected, and disabled and selected. Then what we need to do is actually put an event listener on when these states change. So what we do is go ahead and hook into this event, current state changing. And in our event, we just listen and then check for this new state. So if it's changing to the up state, we want the icon to change to our up skin and over skin. So these values are arbitrary values. I just happen to use the typical ones you'd use in MX components, the up skin, the over skin, and down skin. But since I'm just trying to find these off get style, so when set icon gets called and this arbitrary string gets passed in, we pass it down into the host component and just search for that style on that component. So the style up skin on the button or the toggle button. And if it's available, we go ahead and assume that it is actually an uh, image and it's assign it to this source image here. And then icon is down here and has a spark bitmap image that we set up to fill up this skin and display. So let's go ahead and take a look at that running. So we have this button assigned to icon button skin. So here we have it 
applied just on this one button, but not applied to this. So after we have skins, you can assign it per component, or we can also apply this globally inside the style sheet. So in the style sheet, we can sign the spark button and the toggle button so the skin class references our new icon button skin. And now when we run this, you'll see as I hover over, it highlights, and then the toggle button, as I hover over, it highlights, and then if I click it, you'll see that it stays in the pressed state of the image, and I can pull it back out. So that's all it takes to change up the look and feel of your component without changing the core logic of your component. So we took a, a regular button that would normally have a rectangle and text and made it so it would have icons instead. To learn more about migrating your Flex 3 to Flex 4 applications, visit us at Adobe Developer Connection.